Welcome back to the Chasing Happiness Podcast, an honest podcast about finding happiness, what it really means, and the process of getting there. My name is Crystal, and today we're talking about weight loss. And no, I don't mean that I'm going to talk about how you can lose weight. What I'm going to talk about today is something that I'm struggling with as I'm losing weight. And it may be something you're familiar with, and that's body image. Regardless of what size you are, whether you're carrying excess weight or not, body image tends to be something that a lot of people struggle with. And part of the reason for that is this digital world that we live in that is consistently telling us what we should look like. Because let's face it, most of us don't look like photoshopped images that we see online or on TV. So as most of you know, over the last year, I have lost some weight. And as I've been losing weight, my body has changed. And I struggled with body image issues prior to losing weight. But I'm struggling a little bit more now because now that I'm losing weight, I have what doctors refer to as excess skin in certain areas of my body. And for anyone who's been overweight, you will understand as you lose the fat, your skin doesn't necessarily shrink. The fat cells do, but then you're left over with a little bit of skin. This is even something Oprah dealt with when she lost all of her weight. She talked very openly on her show about the fact that she had excess skin under her arms and had been asked by a number of people if she would have it surgically removed or not. She has never done that because she is okay with it, but she also struggled with body image issues in part because of that. And all judgments aside, I think Oprah made the choice that was best for her. It is not the choice that everyone will make, and that's okay. I can tell you personally, I'm already thinking about having my excess skin removed because I'm struggling so much mentally with how it looks now that I'm losing weight. And if you listening to this podcast have struggled with your weight, you will understand it's very hard to deal with body image issues, regardless of what size you are. We live in a society that tells us once we lose the weight, that will change. But the truth is, it doesn't. It doesn't go away because you're now dealing with a body that again looks different than it did before, and there's other things about your body that you're not happy with. Now, I've been talking to people over the last couple of months who have had plastic surgery, whether they were moms who had plastic surgery to get their bodies back into shape after they had their kids, or whether they were people who have lost weight and then had surgery to remove their excess skin, they all have one thing in common, and that's wanting to be comfortable in their own bodies. And that's ultimately what the goal is, right? We don't have body image issues simply because we want to look good for other people. We want to feel good in our own skin. We want to be comfortable comfortable in our own skin. We want to look at ourselves in the mirror and feel like we look good. And yes, some of that struggle is a mental debate in our own minds about what good really is, but we all deserve and have the right to like how we look, regardless of what other people think, what size we are, how our body proportions are divvied up. So for you listening to this podcast, if you're struggling with body image issues, please know you're not alone. If you've thought about having surgery, don't let people sway your decision. Because as long as you're making the choice so that you feel comfortable and not so that you live up to some stereotype of what other people think you should look like, then it's okay for you to do those things. The more weight I lose, the more excess skin I'm going to have, the more uncomfortable I'm going to be carrying that around. So the more likely I am to have surgery to remove some of it. And that has nothing to do with wanting to look the way the world thinks I should look. Part of it is health related. The more excess skin you carry around, the more likely you are to get rashes and other medical issues. Issues. It's also extra weight that your body doesn't need to be carrying. If you're someone who had kids and you want to have a breast lift, now that you're done breastfeeding, you have the right to be able to do that if it makes you feel comfortable in your own skin. Not because the world thinks you should have a perky chest, but because you deserve to feel like your body is your own. And it's easier for us to accept ourselves, our bodies, how we look and feel comfortable in our own skin if we're happy happy with what we're looking at because it makes us happy. If you're someone who has struggled over your lifetime with your weight, like I have, then you know once you lose the weight, you feel really good about yourself. You feel like you've accomplished something and you don't go through all of that 
hard work to continue to be unhappy with yourself. You do it because you want to be happy. You want to feel comfortable. We all have the right to change our bodies however we choose. Whether you agree or not, with all of the different kinds of plastic surgery that there is, everyone deserves to be happy with how they look. And what you think is going to make you happy may not be what makes me happy, but those are personal choices that we get to make as individuals. And there are tons of options out there for us to do that. So don't judge other people's choices to have plastic surgery or not have plastic surgery. Whether they're fixing a broken nose or a not broken nose, whether they're fixing what their bum looks like or how thin their cheeks look, what other people choose to do to change their body is none of your business as long as it makes them happy. And the same goes for you. How you choose to view your body and what you choose to change about your body is your business and your business alone. As long as you're looking at it from a health perspective, you're getting doctor's approval and opinions and you're doing it because you want to be comfortable in your own skin, because you want to feel good about yourself and not based on how other people will view you, then you're making the decision for the right reasons and you have the right to do what makes you happy. I think we've gotten to this place in our world where we view plastic surgery as this thing that only celebrities do and they only do it so that they can look good on the cover of a magazine, but that's not true. The biggest part of the plastic industry world right now is the mommy makeover. Agree with it or not, people want to, after they have children, be comfortable with their bodies because their bodies change so much during pregnancy. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's what they want to do. So let's be a little more accepting of everyone who chooses plastic surgery. I can tell you personally, when I do choose to have my excess skin removed, it will be something that I will share with you here on the podcast as well as over social media because I think we need to talk more about these things so that people understand the process isn't easy. It costs a lot of money in some cases, but if it's something you're willing to invest in so that you feel comfortable in your own skin, there's nothing wrong with that. As I keep losing weight, it's something I'm struggling more and more with. Every time I look in the mirror, every time I put on a tank top or a pair of shorts, I see how my body is getting better because I'm losing weight, but I also see the things that I know I'm going to struggle with for the next year or two. And if I can fix those things with a little bit of cosmetic surgery so that I feel better about myself, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And you shouldn't either. That's just my food for thought this week, guys. I hope you have a great week. Feel free to reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram or email me at info at chasinghappiness.ca. Let me know how you feel about your body. Are you struggling with body image issues? Are you thinking about possible plastic surgery? It's definitely something that is a big part of the weight loss world. And the more research I do, the more I find people who are doing this and who feel 100% better about who they are and how they look once they do. So if it's something you've considered, regardless of whether it has to do with weight loss or not, do your research, invest some time, figure out why you're doing it and talk to some professionals, but don't let anyone's opinion of it cloud what you think is best for you. Have a great week. I will chat with you guys next week. Bye for now.